company to the ring by Domino, weighing in at 250 pounds from Basin City, Roughneck! And his opponent weighing in at 217 pounds from Portsmouth, Hampshire, he is the current WAW British Heavyweight Champion, Brad Slayer! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, can I ask you please be upstanding for the national anthem. is on the line in this match. Commissioner Scott Hall uh, offering the hand of uh, good luck and best wishes to Roughneck. And Roughneck gets the trademark toothpick in the face for an act of disrespect there, Carl Ford. Looks like he's going to have to find yet another plaster for that ugly mug of his. But yeah, the addition of... Uh, what was that name? Domino did you get announced there? Well, if, if we're not too sure, I, I could go down and find out. Um, no, you'll stay in port. Remember that restraining order Terry's got on you. You're not allowed anywhere near him. I'm sure that's expired. OK. Gentlemen, while you two are arguing, I'll go down and find out a little bit more about Domino. Uh, yeah. We need you here. You are the glue that holds this commentary team together. I am I'm expendable. You are the colour commentator, and you need to, you need to stay here. Because I'm Cole Ford is... I'm also the co-owner of Bellatrix, so I should go and speak to her as a liaison with female talent. Well, uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll discuss this matter later, gentlemen, but of course, the WAW British Heavyweight Championship is on the line. As the bell sounds and we're underway, here comes Brad Slayer doing a number on the challenger Roughneck here. Yeah, the champions come out of the blocks early. I mean, Roughneck said he had a secret weapon. Who knew it was going to be a new manager S? And Slayer's starting off strong. Well, Slayer's got a file it under him. Looks like he's intent on keeping that championship firmly around his waist. Slayer really laying into Roughneck here. And Slayer's not held that belt for long. He won it from Jinx not that long ago, the Nightmare Jester. Here we go. Brad Slayer still on fire. 360's Roughneck out of the ring. That's after he caught that clothesline, reversed it into that. Uh, foot to the face maneuver that I believe he I believe he calls the chew at two. Roughneck out on the floor here of Epic Studios. And, uh, referee Steve Linsky laying the count on Roughneck here. Roughneck rolls in and breaks the referee's count, so the referee has to restart the count here. Now what's Roughneck doing? Uh oh. Just Push one of the fans, I think. I mean, that's going to cost him. Is he just stolen their camera? I believe he has. Hey, look out! Slayer with a dive to the outside as uh, Roughneck was keeping his eye on the prize there, folks. Just not the prize he's hoping to take home this evening, which is that British Heavyweight Championship. Well, someone's going to be taking home something but keep your eye on uh, keep your eye on Slayer measuring the challenger here I'm keeping my eye on Domino actually she looked like she was reaching for his legs she's got it got the legs referee's coming over Brad looks like he was lining up for that running kick to the face right, here's Roughneck oh no no oh you on the floor for a second I was worried he was going to chuck him against that barrier I would be worried more about Brad Slayer's health right now that was the back 
of his head cracking off that concrete floor. Brad Slayer has not moved since taking that part. We, can we get some help down here for Brad Slayer? Yeah, I mean, the referee's got to really think about if Brad's in a condition to carry on after that. Do you actually think he would be after taking that power bomb on Did the floor? Did you just see Roughnick try and pick up Brad Slayer and he was just complete dead weight? Roughnick abandoned the attempt to lift him. There you see Brad Slayer on the floor of Epic Studios here. We need some help for Brad Slayer. Someone please check if he's okay. It looks like Roughnick's trying to win this match by count out, but under British rules, if he does that, he still leaves as the champion. He, he will win the title from Brad Slayer if he wins this match by count out. Absolutely, we're up to, I think, six on the count. Wow. Slayer, that was a split second away from losing the British title on a count out. He gets in at the very last moment, but what is left of Slayer? Look at Slayer. Look at the face of Slayer. He, do he doesn't even know where he is. Roughneck has done a big number on Slayer here. And we are moments, and believe you me, folks, we are moments away from a new WAW. British champion. I, mean, I can't see any way for Brad Slayer to get back into this fight after a move like that. Absolutely, Roughneck survived the 35-man rumble to earn a shot of this, of this title, so it's going to take a lot to even put him away, but Slayer's just not getting any offence in at all. He is in a bad way, folks. And Roughneck goes for an Irish whip on Slayer. Wow! Roughneck put all his weight behind that. If Brad Slayer had a manager right now, they'd be thrown in the towel. You've got to believe that. But it's not. It's Roughneck with his manager. Yeah, Domino's only got involved once, but that's all it needed. That distraction allowing that powerbomb to the outside, and they would got a backbreaker. Here it comes. No, a sidewalk slam or a pavement slam for all you British fans out there. He's not even making the cover. He's that confident that Brad Slayer is a broken man. Look at Roughneck standing over the prone body of the champion, Brad Slayer. It's only a matter of time. Slayer now using his head as a weapon after all of that. No, oh, but a knee to the forehead takes him down. I think the only thing to Brad's advantage is that Roughneck's starting to get a bit too cocky for me. He's taking a bit too much time in between moves. Now Roughneck, Irish whip. So, oh, wait a minute, Slayer reversed. Sends Roughneck in. Is he looking for a monkey climb? No, Roughneck spins him round. Shot got him right on the chin. Where's Roughneck going to put Slayer now? I think one more shot and he's his... A power slam. Power slam finds the mark. But again, he's not going for that cover right away. I think Roughneck wants to hurt the champion. Or is he trying to win this match by knockout and you know, really make a statement to all the WAW fans that he clearly hates so much? Referee Steve Blinsky laying the count on the champion now. And he's back up. How, we do not know. Roughneck, uh-oh, he's looking to do a big punch on him. Looking for a heart punch, maybe. Yeah, here he comes. Right in the sternum. Steve Blinsky has to seriously think about stopping this match. He's laying the count and Slayer is down on the floor. You can see the pain actually on his face after that punch to the sternum. But Roughneck's been mouthing off on social media for months to the fans. As Axel said, is he trying to actually wind up the fans more than he is trying to win this title? I don't think he could wind up the fans more than if he won the title. Irish whip. Sends Slayer into the near left. Slayer puts the boots up on Roughneck. And now, go behind. Back elbow by Slayer. Clothesline takes Roughneck down. And Brad Slayer with a quick flurry of offense out of nowhere, but he's, he's in no fit state to capitalize on it. Both men are down, folks. Both men are down. Referee Steve Linsky laying a count on both men here. Who's going to be the first one to make it to their feet? And it looks like it's going to be Roughneck. He's made it to his knees first, at least. Well, now these two are going to tee off on their knees here. 
Look at these two exchanging blows. Right in the center of the ring. They somehow managed to both get back to their feet, but they're still slugging it out. Slayer rocks Roughneck. Roughneck replies. Boot to the midsection. Can Slayer follow up? A chop, but I'm not sure if he got all of it. Slayer off the left. Boot to the gut, and once again, kick. It caught him right on the right side of his head. It's rocked him, but it hasn't taken him down. But He's on jelly legs. But Axel, the momentum is shifting back into the favour of Slayer here. Here comes Slayer. But look at the tempo that the, the Hey, wait a minute, Slayer's wait a minute. With. Domino, Domino has grabbed the leg. Say so Slayer's your back again, momentum again, but he's not getting it with the tempo he usually does. Brad Slayer is a very fast paced in ring competitor, and he's been making comebacks, but very slowly. That's because that back injury he's picked up from that power bomb on the floor earlier in the match. Come on, referee, get Domino off him. Avoids it. Well, this could be it. He's rolling him up. Two. That was close. Oh, and look at Brad, he's devastated. He clearly feels like he needed that pin. And so did Roughneck. Domino getting herself involved here, when uh, of course she shouldn't be. Yeah, Roughneck's secret oh. weapon nearly cost him. Oh, he's got the ankle lock. The ankle lock applied on the big man. Is he, gonna, is he gonna surrender? Look at the pain on Roughneck's face. All that pain running through his body. Oh, he's refusing. He's refusing to tap out here. He's reaching for the ropes. He's gonna get it. He's been pulled back to the middle. Is the champion gonna retain? Is Roughneck gonna tap out? I don't think Roughneck's gonna be able to get out of this. Referee Steve he's Linsky's trying. there. Barely kicks Slayer off with what energy he's got left in him. Roughneck on one leg now. Irish whip to the far side, reversed by Roughneck. Slayer looks the clothesline. Now, Slayer. Paul Nelson. Is he going to put the challenger away? Back elbows by Roughneck. Here comes Slayer off the far side once again. Is Slayer going to put the challenger away for good this time? No, Roughneck's fought out of it once again. Oh, wow. oh on his head. What a backdrop. Well, Brad's down. He landed completely on his head on that. Referee Steve Walensky checking Slayer here. Slayer. That is the second big move in this match that he has took on his head. That is two horrific landings Brad Slayer's taken. I don't even know how he recovered from the first one. How's he going to get out from this? Look at look at Linsky all being intimidated by Roughneck to count out Brad Slayer. Look at Roughneck. Look at him intimidating Linsky. We've got a new British champion. We've got to have. That's it, that's it. We've got a new champion. We've got a new champion. Let's take it up to Terry Gauchi, my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the contest and new WAW British Heavyweight Champion, Roughneck!
introducing first from Norwich, Norfolk. She's a former British and European and world champion, Liberty! And her opponent from Glasgow, Scotland, she is the hardcore daredevil, Kaylee Ray! David Finch will be officiating this match, folks. And what a showdown we've got here. David Finch explaining the rules to both competitors. This one is going to be off the chain, folks. As they heard during the introductions, Liberty, a former multi-time champion. She's won the British, European and World Championships here in Bellatrix. Bell sounds and we're underway. Both competitors jot round for a position. Here we go, collar and elbow tie up. And look at the hair fly, folks. What a collar and elbow tie up we're witnessing. Collar and elbow takedown by Liberty. Oh, now look at Liberty getting in the face of Kaylee Ray. Yeah, the Kaylee Ray's not going to stand for that at all. These two both showing confidence there. I mean, it's pretty toe to toe. I don't know what you guys think, but I can't pick a winner. Headlock takedown by Kelly Ray. David Finch is in there. Look at Kelly Ray leaning all the way on Liberty here. See Kelly struggling to escape. Trying to alleviate some of that pressure. Headstand. With a bit of trying leg. to get the crowd going. Yeah, a little bit of leg clap in there, folks. Kelly rolls onto a back, nice bridge. Turns round. They start to fasten up the legs of Liberty here. Well, now, bit of a added insult to injury, but Liberty's not giving up, she's not surrendering, folks. David Finch is right there, side headlock applied now by Kelly Ray. Kelly Ray pulling back. Just trying to bring Liberty back up. I think Liberty probably went into this one expecting to have the upper hand when it came to technical wrestling, being a graduate of the Bellatrix Female Warrior Training School. However, Kaylee Ray here showing some brilliant technical ability. Well, that's the trouble with Liberty. Since that attitude change, she kind of expects every match to be an easy match. Just getting caught now on the map by Kaylee Ray, keeping her grounded. Liberty. Trying to make her way back up to a vertical base here, and she has, but she still has to get out of that headlock. Snapmare takedown, Liberty rolls through, but gets met with an arm drag. Japanese arm drag by Liberty on Kelly Ray, and Kelly Ray replies with a drop kick. And Liberty replies with a drop kick. Oh, wait a minute, wait, look at this! Look at this! Both women going for a kick, and they've locked their legs together. Well, come on, Dave, unlock them! Referee needs to step in. We've got a bit of a stalemate here, folks. How are they going to... Trying to... They've broken it. Nice show of... Yeah, nice, nice uh, show of respect. For... Wait, wait a minute. About to... Uh... Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Kenny Ray. Kenny Ray looking for the glory special. No, wait a minute. Liberty rolls through double like Nelson. Holding left press by Kenny Ray and rolls back. David Finch. He's putting a shift in here with all these pins, my goodness. Completely back and forth. Oh, that was a close one. I thought that was three. Only two. What a sequence of pins there. And David Finch explaining to him that it was only two and a kick by Liberty to Kelly Ray. Face meets boot. David Lynch lost four pounds on that pinfall exchange. I'm not talking about in money either. My goodness. Handful of hair now. Snap there by Liberty. What a, what a shot. Right to the scapulous area of Kaylee Ray. Hooks the leg. Two count only. Kaylee rolling away from Liberty. Creating the separation. Trying to hold on to the ropes, but Liberty follows up, drags her off. Liberty now, lateral press, hooks the leg. She didn't, didn't quite get that butcher's grip on the pinfall there. Kayla Ray favouring that head. 
possibly from all that hair pulling from Liberty. Kayla Ray with shots to the midsection on Liberty. Pushes her off to the right. Ray ducks the clothesline. What's this? Wheelbarrow rolls through. Liberty face first on the canvas, rolls back, puts the leg. Two. She had all the body weight on her hips, but not enough on her shoulders, which resulted in a two count. And the action continues here, Carl Ford. Yeah, that wheelbarrow into a face buster. That would be enough to put away a lot of competitors, but Liberty proving why she is a former champion. And not only has she kicked out, but she's got back on the offense. Oh my goodness! Five minutes gone. Liberty took a hard tumble to the floor there. Keep your eye on Kaylee Ray. Liberty gets out of dodge. Liberty sweeps the legs of Kaylee Ray, and Kaylee Ray tumbles to the floor of Epic Studios. Lots of work on the back here for Kaylee Ray. That's going to hold off on a bit of her offense, I think, when it comes to the high flying aspect. And now on the outside, needs to get him back in. We got a stand up, there's a drop kick on the outside. The thing about that one though is, okay, Kaylee Ray may have got a big kick on Libby, but also her back on that canvas again. Liberty down on the floor of Epic Studios here. Kaylee Ray picking her up. Oh, she got rammed into the apron on the near side of the screen. What's this now? Tornado DDT on the floor! Are you kidding me? First public warning to Liberty. First public warning, I'm not surprised. Well deserved, I must say. I don't think Liberty's worried about that public warning after that DDT. That's got to be it. I'm surprised she's even thrown. Hang on, hey, she's got back up. Kaylee Ray, Kaylee Ray! Kaylee Ray with a dive to the outside, wipes out Liberty. That's the first public warning. Oh, I'm alone there. The hardcore daredevil. How did she even get back to her feet, let alone dive to the outside? All adrenaline, Carl. I think it was all down to the adrenaline of taking such an impactful move and just going for it. It's amazing. However, Kaylee Ray now has a public warning of, of her own for the dive. And referee David Finch laying the count on both women here. We could have a double count out, folks. Up to six. See Liberty stirring. This is Kaylee Ray. I think you, you might be... No, they're both in. Yes, the count has stopped both women back in. They're both pulling themselves up on the ropes. Just trying to get themselves back up to a vertical base, and they have. And they meet in the middle with a forearm shot each. And once again, Katie Ray. Oh, wow! Both staggered. Liberty getting the brunt of it now. We've got chops on the menu here tonight at Bellatrix. Kaylee Ray dishing it out. Back elbow by Liberty. This one is such an exchange. Liberty to the outside. But it's met with a kick from Kaylee Ray. Liberty saw what was happening, tried something different, got caught. This could Ray. be it. No. Act of desperation, diving through the ropes into the ring. And oh, wait a minute, both women received a shot each, and both women could get n a knockout here. But how impressive was that dive through the ropes into a roll-up? Have you ever seen that before? Me, personally, I've never seen that manoeuvre actually attempted, let alone finished with such execution. Referee is up to a count of six. And we could have a double knockdown here. Both women back up to the feet. This one's been a knockdown, drag out, action packed affair between these two. Wow. Kaylee Ray really laid it in here to Liberty. Irish whip, reverse, no. Throws her back into the same corner, diving forearm. You heard that one connect, folks. Kaylee Ray, springboard, leg lariat. You could hear that one up in Scotland. Two only. Kaylee Ray can't believe it. The match continues, folks. Stay on her. Come on. Picking her up now. These two giving it their all here for the Bellatrix fans here in Norwich at Epic Studios. Jack's the jaw. Liberty can't follow up, though. She tried to get up and collapse the first time. 
Irish whip, Kelly Ray holds on. Kick to Liberty now. Wheelbarrow, Kelly Ray, what's she gonna get here? No, hey, wait a minute, Liberty's got half. Nelson, face first into the canvas, rolls her through. Is this it? Two. Kaylee Ray kicks out. Liberty obviously managed to, to counter that one due to taking a move from that same position earlier on. She knew it was coming and she knew how to get out of it. Liberty can't believe it. Ten minutes gone. You yeah, just screamed at our referee, David Finch. Liberty just screaming at the fans to shut up. Both women here leaving it all in the ring. Both of them refusing to lose. Thunderbomb! Is this it? No, it's not. Kaylee Ray kicks out at two, and Liberty can't believe it. What is it going to take? You see the frustration building, the, the moments of despair on the face of Liberty. What's she going to do to pull away Kaylee Ray here, Carl? No, I, oh! Well, not make mistakes, that's for sure. Kaylee Ray, top floor now, looking for the missile drop kick. Finds the mark. She needs to follow up with a quick pinfall here. One, two. No, she didn't hook the leg. And you see the despair setting in on Kaylee Ray here. And Did now, he? Kip, what's Kaylee got to do to put Liberty away well, the here? The thing is, they don't call her the hardcore daredevil for no reason. All of her office, offense, should I say, resulting in damaging herself. She's going to have to put it all on the table. She's got anything left. Liberty's got her up. Looking for that liberator. Is she going to get it? No, wait a minute. Kaylee Ray rolls around. Looking for that gory special. She's got it. She's got it. Rolls her through. Two. She got it. My goodness, what a match. Let's take it up to Terry Gauchy. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, Kaylee Ray. What back and forth action we've witnessed, folks. That one could have gone either way between these two competitors. But nonetheless, Kaylee Ray is your winner here at Bellatrix at Epic Studios in Norwich. What a victory that was for Kaylee Ray at Bellatrix. I mean, they couldn't have been a better person to be to make an impact here. Definitely, Carl. I mean, especially with the championships that Liberty has held here in Bellatrix and being one of the top competitors for Kaylee Ray to come in after quite a long time out of Bellatrix and get a victory over Liberty, that's going to put her in the running. First, weighing in at 235 pounds from the Marta capital of the world, New Orleans, Louisiana. He is the RQW champion, the Southern Stumper, Luke Hawks. <laughs> and his opponents. Weighing in at 256 pounds, he forms part of the Knight Dynasty from Norwich, Norfolk. He is the current WAW Heavyweight Champion, half of the UK Hooligans, the highlight, Zach Knight! Nice reaction for Zach Knight here. Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for the national anthems.
So we've heard the national anthems of the Star Spangled Banner. God save the Queen. As the Commissioner of WAW wishes good luck to both competitors. Now, Cole Ford, give me the ramifications. Let the folks at home know the ramifications. The result of this match, what's going to happen here? Well, what's going to happen here is Commissioner Scott Hall decided a few months ago that to make more unified titles, so the real quality wrestling championship held by Luke Hawks and the WAW Heavyweight Championship held by Zack Knight are being unified here tonight. Right here, right now. My goodness. And Zack Knight with a knee drop on Hawks. Well, both these men know how important this match is. Possibly one of the most important matches in WAW history. Two world champions enter, one world champion leaves. It's for all the marbles, gents. Not only in WAW history, British wrestling history. The RTW and WAW will merge. Here we go. No. The belts will merge into one and the winner will take them both away as the undisputed world heavyweight champion. And the fact that Luke Hawks won that title from Roy Knight, Zach's brother, that's going to give him that little bit of extra aggression to take out on the Southern Stomper here tonight. You think that gave him the aggression to take out on him? Not only did he beat Roy Knight for the title, he then beat up Zach's mum, knocked out Zach's dad, Zach ran the ring and got knocked down himself as well. Zach has got a hell of a lot to prove here tonight. Well, Zach's got to stay on Luke Hawks here. He's got the hometown fans of Norwich behind him. Open hand strike to Luke Hawks. Irish whip. Rever reverse. Oh, look at this. Belly to belly, overhead suplex. Nicely executed there by Hawks. And Zach nearly flew out the, out the ring there. And Hawks right on top of him. And now, Zach Knight is in trouble here. Oh, look at Luke Hawks. Laying the shots in to Zack Knight here. Oh, wow! Laces right in the face, right in the eyes of Zack Knight. The referee, Steve Linsky, didn't see that. And that's got to affect the vision of the highlight, Zack Knight. It's the Southern Stubber follows up with a big suplex. You see the pain etched on Zack Knight's face. Luke Hawks rolls him over, hooks the leg. Two count only by referee Steve Linsky. The match continues here. This rem remorseless, absolute remorseless assault on Zack Knight by Luke Hawks. Look at these strikes. You can feel it coming right into your living room, folks. You can feel every shot connect by these two. These two laying it in here. Boot to the midsection. No one man in this match so far has built any solid momentum. It's been so back and forth, a real 50-50 match so far. One count only by referee Steve Linsky here. Look at Hawks. He is in firm control. So far, the momentum in his favor. What a shot once again. These guys aren't holding back, folks. These guys are giving it tooth and nail. Irish Whip sends Knight to the far side, catches him, and I am, wow. Where's he gonna put him now? He's hanging on, folks. Big power slam and a beauty. He's not going for the cover. After that combination, that was superb. He did a rib breaker straight into a power slam. There's this amazing display of strength and power from Luke Hawks. But he shouldn't have turned to the crowd there. I mean, I wouldn't have thought he'd have got the full three, but it have still made it harder for Zach to kick out if he'd have got on him sooner. Hawks trying to pull Knight up to a vertical base. Knight's laying in the shots to him. And with a right hand right to the face once again. It's this spinning neck breaker. Finds the marker now. Oh, once again. It's a third, a trifecta of neck breakers on one half of the hooligans. This could be it, no. 
straight back into the cover and again trying to force Zach to expend energy and kick it out. And the RQW champion continuing the offense against the WAW heavyweight champion Zach Knight. Another forearm. And don't forget, folks, this one is for all the marbles. This is a title unification match. We will crown a WAW Undisputed World Heavyweight Champion. Is it going to be Zack Knight? Is it going to be Luke Hawks? This one has spilled to the outside here. Well, Luke Hawks has clearly got his head in this game because he's not doing anything to showboat to the crowd. He's not doing anything to show off in that ring. Everything he's do done so far has been measured and precise. It's been very basic, but it's been very effective. And you've got to give the man credit for that. True say that, Axel. And Luke rolls Zach into the ring. Where's Hawks going now? Gonna swing what show on, himself what, in. That's... What, what on earth is this? Oh my goodness, a moonsault. From the outside in. Moments the moon... after me saying he's not showing off, he busts out a moonsault from the outside the ring back in. That's uh, <laughs> that's pretty incredible. Wow, did you hear that shot connect? Irish whip sends Zach off to the right. Rolls down. He's got that. Picks the ankle. He's got it. He's got it. What's he going to do with him? A big chop by Zach. Here comes the center. Oh, I squashed him. You feel all the air rush out of him. Moon soul and a good in. So you can play in that game, Luke. That'll do you, folks. Zach's not. He didn't hold the leg. Zach cut. Look at Zach's face. You can tell that right at the last minute. He knew that he needed to hold that leg to get the victory. And he didn't do it. And we know in the past that Zach's had doubts about his talent because before he won that heavyweight championship, he came so close on various occasions before that. Even consider retirement at one point. So we know he's had self-doubt in the past. Let's hope that's not creeping back in. We've got a change of blows here. Right in the middle of the ring from these two, exchanging forearms. And now a head bump by Zach. Zach. And now Hawks. These two really laid it in. Look at this, folks. And now Hawks is caught that. Oh, it kicked him right in the nose. And Zach just fell like a tree. Yeah, he's completely out. I mean, he's near the ropes, but if he's if he's completely out, I don't think he's going to be able to grab anything. But it's also taken a lot out of Hawks, you see. Both men are down, folks. Both men are down. Referee Steve Blinsky laying a count on both men. This is all for up for grabs. What happens, Carl Ford? If we get a double count out. Oh, wait a minute. No. Luke Hawks, top floor now. Zach Knight's not seen him. Look at Hawks measuring Zach Knight. You know, as soon as Knight turns round, that Hawks is going to be waiting for him. And Zach taking a long time to recover. Sucking him in with an uppercut. Zach Knight was playing possum, folks. And the momentum is shifting in the favor of Zach Knight. And having been on the receiving end of one of Zach's uppercuts, I can tell you that from a standing position, they're brutal. I would not care to take one from flying off the top rope. Hawks the leg. Two count only. Luke Hawks. He can't believe it. Look at the look on his face. Now you know that Luke Hawks has to pull out the heavy artillery to put away Zach Knight here. A scoop and a slinger. There's the highlight reel from Zach. Is it going to be enough? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Hold on a minute. It's Tony on. Valentine. What the heck is he doing out here? And he slid a chair into the ring as well. Hey, hold on a minute, hold on. Who's that coming down to ringside? It's Ricky Knight. Ricky Knight's in the ring. Oh, he's just pasted. Luke Hawks with that chair. Hey, wait, hey, wait. Wait a minute. Holy, what the heck is going on? Ricky Knight just wiped out his own son. Well, someone mind telling me what the heck just... You can't... Uh, 
What on earth? Uh, I, uh, Ladies and gentlemen, I'm speechless. Wait, look at the. Look at Ricky Knight and just standing there with Tony back. What's going on? Hey, hey. Give him the bell, Slinsky, now! Shut up! Well, both Roy and Soraya are out here as well, looking as confused as everyone else. Ladies and gentlemen, your new WAW Undisputed World Heavyweight Champion, Luke Hawks! I don't, I don't understand what's happening here, but... But what... I don't think Luke even knows he's won the match yet. I don't like the fact that Tony Valentine's still hanging around. Shut up! You want to know why? You want to know why? I'll tell you why! I can make you champions! And I can stop you being champions because I'm Rowdy Ricky Knight and that's what I do. I'm sick to death of his 48%. I'm sick to death of the hooligans. I'm sick to death of Paige. And I'll tell you what I'm sick to death, shall I? Shut up! this company. I've worked 30 years to make this company. Mr. 48%. I said shut up. You're in my building. Shut up. I'm really ringing on. Don't forget it. I'm sick of being pages dead. I'm sick of the hooligans. I'm sick of being nobody. I'm really ringing on. Come on.
You know what, just one thing before you walk away. Yeah, you're an absolute but my God, that was one of the best matches I know in my life. And it's down to you. Let's get one thing straight. I may have lost that title, but yes, I've still got my rematch. But let me tell you this. Let me tell you this, sweetheart. You can dry your eyes, because you know what? I tried for eight long years to get that world title, and guess what, princess? I done it, and I can take that off my list. You know what my priority is? Not that fat <laughs> back there. My priority is each and every one of you and putting a damn good show on. <laughs> and right now, we stand here without him upon his family. Well, Roy, you're now the head of this family and we look up to you. Get on this ring. Get up on this ring now. I got one more thing for my dad watching backstage. Get up on this ring, boy. Maybe the next TV show you'll run around and lose some weight. <laughs> Get that camera right here. Hey, dad. Yeah, you hit me from behind. Well, guess what? I still own 48%. And in the words of Six Pack, one, two, three, 